The base needs to be strong, solid strong, Yashika. That's what Vignesh first said to me. Micro monetization for creative businesses. Now the idea of cherry picking the finest elements of content and placing them behind a pay block and turning their peaks into revenue seemed too good to be true. As a writer, a communications professional and a podcast producer, I instantly recognized that this could be game changing. Creators monetize their best work and audiences pay for exactly what they want. Hello, my name is Yashika and I'm leading projects at Canvas. Now to come from that vision to where we've been able to take it alongside solid global leaders and setting up the groundwork for Canvas, the communication structure, the content pillars, the culture, and making it a living and breathing entity such that each and every team member could really feel the essence of the vision and the emotions behind the work we're trying to do. But the larger question was, how do we communicate micro-monetization to the world? And the problem that it was solving, that of subscriber fatigue. Now imagine this, you're watching Oppenheimer, but before that, you need to do some reading. So you go back to the reputed publication, and voila, it's locked behind a subscription pay block. This is what Canvas can power. The publication locks the best parts or the premium parts of that content and you don't mind paying a small sum to unlock it. We were delighted to see creative organizations and media schools explore Canvas and embrace the micro-monetization technology into their existing funnels. Now, it's not every day that you see a global game-changing product from India for the entire world. And I cannot wait to see the power that Canvas can have across the creator economy. And I cannot wait to see you on the other creative side. Let's micro-monetize. As for the base, it still stands on its foundation.